Hello everyone, this is Connie from EasyVideoCrochet.com and I am here again today to show you another fun uh, project. Um, this is called a Pinwheel Coaster. Uh, this uh, pattern I got from RedHeart.com and I'll have the link on the website. And it's for a placemat or a coaster. And um, so we're going to follow these instructions and like I said I'll have um, the pattern link for you so that you can go to that. Um, so what it does is it tells us to follow the instructions for um, the placemat um, through the first round and then we have to follow at the bottom it'll say to continue and follow the instructions for the coaster. So I'm going to set that coaster aside. Alright, so the pattern um, I'm going to use a size I hook. This is the size that I needed to get the size coaster I wanted. Um, you can try uh, another size. I, I, the pattern doesn't even call for a size because um, they just say to use whatever size to get the gauge that you want. So if you if you use an eye and your coaster is too big around, uh, go down a hook size, and if it's too small, go up a hook size. So I'm using eye, and the pattern states, um, and like I said, we're, we're following the placemat instructions through the first round. And it says with A, and I'm using white and green, so I'm going to call the green is B. And I like to sort of remember so I don't forget, so it's A white, and then I call B green, like B green with envy, so I know that B is my green. It helps me to remember what the green is in the pattern instruction so I don't get confused. Um, so with A, I'm supposed to chain four. One, two, three, four. So there's my chain four, and then it says join with a slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. And so we're going to go down here into that first, very first one and just pull through the loop and pull through the one on the hook to make a ring, a little hole where we're going to do put our um, the rest of our stitches. And that makes our little ring. Now what it does is it says to chain one. So I'm just going to chain one, just like so. And then it says in parentheses it has single crochet, half double crochet, three double crochet, all into the ring. So we're going to go into that middle and we're going to do a single crochet. And then a um, half double crochet, we yarn over, go into our ring, pull up a loop, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a half double crochet. And then it says to do three double crochets. Yarn over, go into the ring, pull up a loop, pull through two of the loops on your hook, and then the last two loops on your hook. That's a double crochet. I'm supposed to do three, and I'm using a cone of white, so just bear with me as I pull that yarn off. So I've got to do one more. So now I've done three uh, of the double crochets. And then the pattern says to drop A. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this loop out very big, like so, just so we don't um, lose that. And I'm just sort of like pulling the stitches around, like just giving them a tug to make more room on my ring when I'm starting my green. So now it's, the pattern says that we're going to um, drop the A and we don't fasten A off because we're going to come back to this later. And then it says to um, bring in, let's see, I'm going to see exactly what the, the pattern says. Join B with a single crochet in the ring and then it wants you to work, which is in parentheses, a half double crochet and three double crochet. So we're really doing the same thing that we did here. And I'm going to bring over, because mine are, are green swirled, and I'm going to bring over the green, and I'm going to bring that in to my uh, ring. So I'm just going to grab the, the yarn and pull it in, like so, hold the working yarn with my left hand, and, and then I'm sort of pinching and holding that in so it doesn't come loose. And then I'm just going to pull that through like there, like doing a little chain just to sort of get it attached. But it says to it says to bring that in with a single crochet. Well, I've got it. Uh, I've got that um, that little chain in there, but I haven't done my single crochet yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet. And now my yarn is uh, attached. It's 
in there snug. I don't think it's going to come out. So I can move that tail sort of over to the side. Hold my working yarn. And now I have to do a half double crochet, which is a yarn over into the middle of the ring. And then a yarn over it and pull through all three loops on the hook. Then I've got to do three double crochets. So now I've just done that one double crochet and it looks like I don't really have room in my ring to do two more. But like I said, just hold with your left thumb and forefinger and just give it a tug and that middle uh, sort of will open up a little bit to give you a place to put your next two double crochets. So then we'll go in there and do two double crochets with that green, just like so. So now that I've got those, uh, the same thing done, and I'm going to pull that, that yarn out. Oh, so this is what your, your work's supposed to look like. And then we're going to come back to the white, because this is what the pattern says after we've done that green. It says to drop um, the B, which is the green, and don't fasten off. And we've still got to do round one of the placemat. And then that says to pick up the A, which is our white, and we're going to work two double crochet into each um, B stitch. So I'm going to come back to my, to my white, snug that end up because I had a big old loop there. And then what I'm going to do is there's five uh, stitches here. So if you count the V's, one, two, three, four, five. And you just don't, don't forget that first one there. And I know in the green it's hard for you to see. Uh, but right over here, there's a place to go under the two V's. Um, and what I want to do is do two double crochets into the top of each one of those. So I'm going to yarn over. And you I have to really push my hook in to sort of get it into that first one. And then once you get it into that first one, it's not difficult. And we'll go into that same stitch. Because what it says is that I'm supposed to have um, 10, uh, let's see, I believe it's 10, that makes 10 double crochets uh, when you start counting from here. So that's why I know there's 5 stitches because it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So if you don't have 10, you've done something wrong, you're, you're not uh, seeing that very first double crochet. So now I'm going to go ahead and continue and do 2 like I said, into the top of each one of these stitches. Another one. And then when you get to this point, you've, you've got that, uh, that green loop, you know, out there really big, sort of like gets in your way. So if you want to sort of take that loop and the working yarn and sort of pull it like this with your finger, you know, just to sort of hold it out of the way so that you can see your stitches. You can do that. So now I'm going into that fourth one and doing my two double crochets into it. There again, that loop's popping up. I'm just going to sort of push it to the back. And then I've got one more set of two double crochets. In there like so. Okay. Just like that. And now um, I'm going to pull that loop really big because now we're going to go back to the green. When we're at this point, it's time to pick up the green again. So, um, and we're still on uh, round one of the instructions because we've, we've just got through doing those ten double crochets of A, which is the white. Now it says to drop the white and pick up the B, which is the green. And it says to work two double crochets in each A stitch around. So what that's saying is that I'm going to come back to this uh, green and I'm going to pull my working yarn tight and snug that up. And so what it's saying is that I have to work two double crochets into all of these stitches all the way around. So, um, and, and, I, and that's uh, 30, 30 double crochets. Which means, let's see, so we have to have 15 uh, stitches. So if we count them, let's see, one, the, the V's, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, we have 15 stitches. And it might be a good idea for you to, for you to do that because you don't want to go down into this little, uh, this little place right here. Actually, that's the first stitch right there. So just count uh, from over here at this white here to make sure you have 15 and count 15 all the way back so that you know exactly where you need to start because you do need to have 30 um, exactly because you do want it to, to, to turn out the right size. So now I'm going to double crochet, two double crochet into the top. Let's just smush that in. And then once you get those two double crochets into that uh, into that stitch, you can tell that it sort of uh, firms it up and they get closer together and it doesn't look like you have any holes. And so then you just continue around all the way, just doing two double crochets in the top of each of these double crochets of the previous, previous round. And just don't forget to do two in each one. And a lot of times what I like to do so that I don't forget um, and when I'm, when I'm going through and I'm counting, because like now if I was wanting to count like 15 and I had started over here, I would say 1, uh, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, and then I would say, this is the fourth double crochet, I'd say 4 and then 2. And when I say 2, I know that I've got to go down 2 in that one and that just helps me to keep track. And then, then I'd say 5, 2, and I'd always follow it with a 2 so that I would remember that I'm supposed to go 2 stitches into, into there. And then there's 6, 2. And then I just want to continue uh, that green all the way around here to the end.